In this video, I will show you how to create a multilingual application that you can translate into any language using the i18n library. Let's get started! When you create a new project and want it to have multilingual support, you need to enable the multilanguage option in the project settings. If you want to make your project multilingual later, you can do that too. I'll demonstrate this with the 3D printer demo project. In the file menu, click on project settings and enable the multilingual option. In the inspector for the welcome label, under the text section, you will see a checkbox labeled to be translated below the text input field. If you check this box during export, the label text will be enclosed in parentheses and preceded by an underscore character in the C code. This will help the i18n library recognize and identify which labels need to be translated. I will show you how this looks in the exported file. I will check the box for the welcome label and export the UI. I previously exported the code without checking the box, so you can see the difference between the two exports side by side. In the older file, the welcome label is not enclosed in underscores and parentheses, while in the new file it is. Text fields that you set as to be translated are exported within an underscore function, which is a shorthand for LVI18N get text routine. This routine replaces the contained text with its translated equivalent if an entry is found for it in a translation table. You can find more information about using the LVI18N in the description of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified about our latest videos on time.